files might cause irreparable damage to your system. No more tech wiki. No more Overwatch. No more online ecology courses. Odds are pretty good that you've seen a message like that if you've ever tried to delete a file that Windows wants to cling to, like you cling to that picture of your ex, especially if said file is inside the System32 folder. But what exactly about it is so gosh darn important that makes Windows as cagey and nervous as an Inatech employee during a performance review? And why do internet trolls advise deleting it? Let's start with the first bit. Many of the files inside System32 take the form of dynamic link libraries, or DLLs. These files contain code and data that can be accessed and shared by many programs, including Windows itself. The DLLs inside the System32 folder enable functionality from control panel options to error checking, system updates, streaming media support, encryption services, audio and video playback, DirectX rendering, and even the Windows interface itself. I mean, it wouldn't be very easy to use Windows if you couldn't even freaking see what you were doing. System32 also includes most of your drivers, which you can learn more about up here, as well as elements of the Windows kernel, the fundamental code that interfaces Windows with your hardware, allowing it to, well, work. What that means is that many of these files simply can't be deleted after you boot into Windows, since they've already been loaded into memory. But even deleting other System32 files will probably end up breaking a number of obvious things on your system and result in your computer refusing to boot the next time you try to turn it on, meaning you'll end up having to run some system recovery of some sort to have any chance of getting it back up and running without a full reformat. So this all sounds like stuff you obviously wouldn't want to get rid of, so why is anyone trying to do it? Well, not surprisingly, many non-computer savvy folks have no idea what the System32 folder is at all, leading to some uh, enterprising trolls spreading a meme that deleting System32 will make your computer run twice as fast. This particular piece of memery has been making its rounds on the internet since at least the early 2000s, but the way it's usually presented still fools many computer novices. Typically, there will be a bit of copy pasta describing System32 as a folder that Microsoft uses to intentionally hobble your computer's performance as part of some conspiracy to get you to go buy PC tune-up software or something. Or even claiming that System32 is just straight up malware, then using step-by-step -step instructions that are designed to look like more credible system tuning tips, directing users to enter one or two lines on a command prompt to delete the folder. To be clear, there are many people on the web that offer honest advice about how to speed up a slow computer, but in this particular case, it's a giant hoax. So the moral of the story is don't delete System32, and don't take computer maintenance advice from people that list Master of Memeology on their resumes. TunnelBear VPN lets you tunnel to up to 20 different countries and make it seem like your connection is coming from that country. They have easy to use apps for iOS, Android, PC, and Mac, and they also have a Chrome extension. Just choose the country in the app, turn TunnelBear on, and watch as your bear tunnels your internet connection to your new location. When you turn TunnelBear on, two main things happen. Your connection gets encrypted with AES 256-bit encryption, and your public IP address gets switched, so you can show up as if you're in that different country. TunnelBear lets you bypass all the annoying details that typically come with using a VPN for personal use. There's no need to mess around with port configurations or DNS or any other router settings if you're not comfortable with that. TunnelBear handles all of that in the background. They have a top-rated security privacy and do not log any user activity. You can try out TunnelBear VPN with 500 megabytes of free data and with no credit card required today. And if you choose to get a year of unlimited data, you can save 10% by going to tunnelbear.com slash Linus. All right, guys, thanks for watching. If you liked it, liked it. If you disliked it, dislike it. And don't forget, don't go around deleting a whole bunch of random stuff. This can happen. It's, it's kind of weird having like a torso and shins. So if you want to avoid that, just don't delete a whole bunch of different stuff. And that'll, that'll help you out on the journey of not having that happen. If you guys want to see other silly things, go to Channel Super Fun. Other than that, I'll see you next time.